Hey guys, welcome to your channel. In this video, you will learn on how to upload digital products on Rocket.ph. So first thing that you should do is you have to open any of your web browser and then you have to go to their website. So just type out Rocket.ph and then you have to sign up or log in to your Rocket account. Okay, so you just have to click on this button over here to log into your account or just simply click on become a rector. Now just go to your rector dashboard. And then right here, you'd be able to see these different options. So what you're going to do here is to simply select the my rocket ship option. Okay, so add services, products, or manage your portfolio. So you just have to click on this one and you'd be directed to the about section. So just get to know me. So you just have to edit this if you have anything that you want to change. Now you just have to go to the product section. So just click on the products option over here. Then right here, since we don't have any product yet, what we're going to do is to create our first product. So products are what you sell to customers. So they can be any digital good from an ebook or you know movies or music so just click on that add new product over here and then for the product type you have to select digital downloads so you upload your files to sell songs ebooks templates online course or other downloads and if you would like to you know select the product type physical good so you can select this one as well so since we'll be uploading or selling our digital products so select digital downloads and then just click on continue and right here what you're going to do is to select the you know template that you can use but i suggest you just have to start from scratch so you just select this one over here so you just add new product and then you'd be directed to this page now you just have to type out right here the product name for example i'm going to rename this one as book tree and then for the product type you just have to select digital downloads okay and then right here you have to provide a full description of the item that you are selling so you just have to simply describe your product so if you don't have an idea on how you can describe your product then you can use any online tools for example ChatGPT or you know google gemini so maybe this product is a limited edition book tree so something like that and right here you can add up to 10 media to your product so used to represent your product during checked out in email social sharing and more so let's add in media over here so you just have to click on this one then here you can paste a link from any such as youtube so vimeo tiktok spotify soundcloud and more okay so you just have to paste here the url or you can embed here the code okay now you can also choose stack photo or click here to upload files so if you would like to use stock photos, you can use the search bar as well to search for a specific photo that you want to use. But you can also upload your own. So just click on this button over here and then go to your folder and then upload your own files. Okay, and then just click on open and then you can add up to 10 media. So let's add one more, then click on this one, and then add your media and then click on open. Okay, and then once done, let's go here to the assets. So the files that the buyer will get access to once they have completed the payment. So you have to select any of this. So you can select redirect buyer to a URL to provide a publicly available link to the content you are selling. So a Google Drive URL, a YouTube video, or a Zoom invite. You can paste here the URL to redirect your buyers after purchase but for this video i am going to select the upload a file option mm -hmm. so just select this one then here you can drop your files or select files okay so the maximum file size is 100 mb so now let's select our files so just click on this button over here so this one and you'd be directed to your folder so i'm going to upload this one then just click on open mm -hmm. And then right here, of course, you have to type out the price of the product, of the digital product that you are selling. So for example, this is for 500 peso. Mm -hmm. Then once everything is okay, once everything is set, what we're going to do is to simply save and publish your first digital product on Rocket.ph. 
Okay, so everything is good. Now just have to simply click on the save and publish option. So just wait for a couple of seconds and then you would be able to see here your first ever digital product. Mm -hmm. So right here you have your, just go to the product section and then you'd be able to see here your media or the thumbnail of your product and then the name of your product which is the book tree the price of your product and then as you can see here the publish section so it means that this product has been successfully published then you'll be able to see the number of sold and then the number of sales mm -hmm. then right here at the top mm -hmm, if you would like to make some changes to your published digital products just simply click on the edit icon over here mm -hmm. then see for example you would like to change the name of this product mm -hmm. for example the lost kingdom or the lost shoes so you know the product name should be connected to the product that you are trying to sell so, of course, this is just an example, but if you would like to make some changes, just go to the edit icon. And then after that, you just have to click on save and publish, and then you'd be able to get the new title of your digital product. Mm -hmm. Now, right here, when you want to explore these different options at the top, so just simply go there. Okay. And then uh, let's try to go to the social section. And by the way, if you would like to reorder your digital products, so just simply click on the reorder option. Okay, so now let's go to the social section. Mm, so right here, you'd be able to see the different social links. Then when you go to the design section, you'd be able to see here the design that best represents you so you just have to select your design mm -hmm. so let's go back here to the product section and if you would like to delete some of the digital product that you think is not selling well on your store then you can just simply click on the bin icon or the trash can icon and right here if you don't have any idea then you can use some of these templates Okay, so you can use this as reference on what are the best description that you should add to your product or to the digital product that you are selling. So going back here, if you would like to delete uh, some of the product that you are selling, so just click on this bean icon over here and then you just have to confirm your action. So just click on yes, delete. And then that product will be deleted from your store. So that's it for this video. If you think this video helped you solve your concern, please subscribe, like this video, and leave your comment below. Bye!